what about men's reaction to this type of feminism or the development of feminism? Tom, can you relate? Uh, well, it depends what you mean by feminism, doesn't it? If you ask almost anyone in the country whether they believe in equality between men and women, you'd be loath to find almost anyone who would disagree with that notion. I mean, any opinion poll would show that almost everyone identifies with the notion that men and women should have equal rights under law and in society. But then only 9% of people in the country, of women in the country actually, according to uh, a Fawcett Society poll two years ago, identify as feminist. So clearly there's a bit of a disassociation mm. here going on in your head. And, and I think anyone under the definition of feminism as equal rights between men and women would put their hands up and say, absolutely, I'm a feminist. But then you do get these uh, more insidious branches of feminism. That, um, that almost say that, uh, that, that are very exclusionary, that say if you have the wrong politics, you can't be a feminist. People say that Theresa May can't be a feminist. People say that if you um, believe in, I don't know, tax cuts, think, you can't I be a feminist. Theresa May there can't be a feminist. I think she isn't a feminist. Of course she could be a feminist, but she would have to change the things she was doing. Because so feminism isn't is it just... a political thing in terms of more than just believing in equality? Or, it's about or is it... doing things that would close the, pa the power imbalance. Yeah. So you can't just say, I'm a feminist, and then proceed to do things that widen... What uh, are those things that you're referring to, though? Because people have very different opinions as to what the sure. outcomes of but, certain policies are. But the reality is that austerity brought in by Theresa May has made the lives of, of the poorest women more difficult. And so the job so, of the so wealthiest women... If someone, women, believes, was if someone, someone Cameron, believes in balancing the true, country's books, they not, can't be a feminist. This is extraordinary. Hang on, hang on. Let Tom, let Tom finish his point. This, yeah. this is absolutely extraordinary. If, if you believe that uh, a country should live within its means, you can't believe in the concept of equal rights between men and women. I think that that is why only 9% of people in the country identify as feminist. And I think there is a massive, massive gap between the media class where almost everyone would be very happy to say, I'm a feminist. But Deborah's saying that it and the real women country. disproportionately, that was the point. Right, that was mainly because um, um, certain benefits were, went to being means tested, like child benefit, so, which, which went to women. So rich women weren't getting money anymore. So it obviously, on an aggregate graph, looked like women were hit more. Is that but a feminist in the real thing? world, not so much. Right. Well, I, I do think, a lot of white men I know do think, look, I put my own shelves up, if I had a YouTube video, I reckon I could do a basic heart bypass if it came to it. I think a lot of men do feel like that. <laughs> and that's because they see representatives of themselves yeah. everywhere they do you, go. Do you accept that, Tom? I don't, think, I don't think I'd be able to perform a heart bypass. <laughs> no, uh, I'm all put up <laughs> but, shelves, maybe. But no, but, I mean, yeah. it, is, it is patently true that, um, particularly in the political realm, uh, men have dominated things for the last, well, forever. Um, but, but it is also true now that the leader, well, the prime minister in this country is a woman, the first minister of Scotland is, the leader of the largest party in Northern Ireland is a woman as well. We're about we are to have a, a Liberal Democrat <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yes. <laughs> Let's go. First fourth. I mean, announce it now. It'd be such a coup for the Yeah, show. go on, just yeah. do it quickly. We've only got a few minutes left. No, All right, well, I'll tell you what, to take the embarrassment away from you. Or maybe you. You're, well, you're not embarrassed, actually. Why, why should you? Anyway, moving on. Um, She's considering I'm going to show you.